From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Danielle Shank with your headlines for Monday, November 11th. Before we get to some major Husker news, we begin with a tragic crash near Aurora this afternoon that left two people dead and another injured. Authorities believe a semi crossed the center line of Highway 14 and hit a pickup truck. The pickup driver and a passenger were killed while another passenger was transported to Grand Island with injuries. The semi driver was not injured. The Nebraska football offense has struggled recently, but with just three games left and the Huskers still needing a sixth win, they've made a big change. Dana Holgerson, hired last week as an offensive consultant, is now the new offensive coordinator. I just thought this was, you know, the right thing to do. You know, at the end of the day, like, it might be bold, it might be unique. Um, and again, I didn't, didn't bring him at first with that. You know, I said, hey, come and see. And I think as he got here, he felt comfortable. And, you know, Marcus... Walked in right away and was like, tell me everything you need. And Glenn did the same thing. And Garrett said, I can translate this into your language. And then Dana's obviously, you know, he's a really, really smart guy offensively. He can, he can figure out kind of what we're doing and what we do well. Holgerson, with over 30 years of coaching experience and a history of leading successful teams at Houston and West Virginia, is tasked with improving Nebraska's 99th ranked scoring offense. As for who will lead the offense on the field, Rule says Dylan Riola will try to practice tomorrow, but the team will also get Heinrich Harburg ready for USC on Saturday. Husker Volleyball returns from the Pacific Northwest with Lexi Rodriguez named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. Rodriguez recorded 25 total digs against Oregon and Washington, moving into second all-time for career digs at Nebraska. The team remains ranked number two in the top 25. Lincoln held its 26th annual Veterans Walk of Recognition today, starting at Memorial Stadium and ending at the Veterans Memorial Garden to honor Nebraskans who died serving the U.S. About 30 Lincoln High students who visited Normandy this summer for the 80th anniversary of D-Day participated. They visited Omaha Beach and a cemetery where thousands of Americans, including over 200 Lincoln High students, are buried. Today, they brought sand from their school to rub on the headstones of fallen World War II alumni. The UNMC College of Dentistry offered free dental care to veterans today. With just 15% of veterans in VA health care eligible for dental benefits, this event provided more veterans with access to care while giving students the opportunity to give back. Today, 65 veterans received care ranging from checkups to extractions and fillings. So many of us have come out and we've had um, traumatic injuries and stuff, we forget things that we should, we should be taking care of. It means a lot to me. I served, my wife served, and so for me it's just kind of giving back to the people that I feel really comfortable with treating, and just in a group that I think could deserve and does deserve and needs the most treatment. The college also runs the Vet Smile Dental Clinic every Friday for veterans not eligible for VA dental benefits, a service that has grown since its launch in July and now has a wait list of more than 300 people. Rounding out your night beat is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to the night beat. Watch, listen and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.